Good morning. <laughs> I thought since the cat's out of the bag on my main channel, I would film a what I eat in a day video for the vlog channel and it should be interesting because I always start out with a plan <laughs> and then things go sideways. So this is the plan so far. I made this granola yesterday morning and then that's just some plain organic yogurt from Trader Joe's that I am powering through as fast as I can. It is crazy how quickly I've gone through it. So I'm gonna get this down. I've already had my coffee and then I'm gonna have my prenatals and whatnot. But yeah, I made this with maple syrup, gluten-free oats, pecans, I added more maple syrup. Oh, and then I also had like millet lying around like you do. Mm. Today is a work day. And I say that like every day is a work day, but like when I'm filming, it doesn't feel like work. And so today is like a non-filming marketing work day, like client work day. But I'm telling you because I want you to hold me accountable. I am determined to do a yoga today, okay? I just get too tired by the afternoon and I don't do it. And my butt's gone flat, guys. It's flat and it's saggy and it's like starting to show a lot of little puckery things. And I used to have a really cute butt. I just have not been able to exercise at all in the first trimester. Like I went on two runs, which made me very, very sick. <laughs> And, um, and then I've done yoga a couple of times, but I swear, I mean, first trimester, yoga would tire me out for like the whole next day. <laughs> Just like 35 minutes of yoga. So we're gonna see if I can um, load up enough on energizing calories that, uh, that I feel motivated to do that later because I need to stretch my body out. I just need to move, you know? And I've been going on walks, but it's just not the same. And they also, the walks really tire me out because it's really hot outside, so yeah. All right, so I'm gonna chow down on this and I'm gonna share with you guys what I eat for the rest of the day. And I swear, guys, I'm serious. Like this is not, you know, some kind of like example I'm trying to set. This is just me chronicling it because I don't know either. Meow. Hey bud. I love my water outside. This is how I have been trying to stay hydrated is just keeping one thing with me all the time full of water. Okay, so time to take my prenatals. I have to take them with food, at least this particular one. So I have the My Kind Organics Whole Food Gummies Prenatal Multi. I actually watched the episode of Ellen Fisher where she like hung out with Alicia Silverstone and they talked about her creating these, which I thought was pretty cool because they're like all vegan and like not made with uh, refined sugar or anything like that. They're just made with whole fruit. And so, I don't know, it sounded too good to be true, but I went for it because honestly, these were making me so sick. Um, someone told me that too much iron in your prenatal can exacerbate nausea. And so I was like, all right, I'll be on the safe side and go for one that doesn't have iron in it. This doesn't have iron in it, which is great. I mean, I have like so much iron in my, my blood. Like I'm fine on that. So um, the other thing, I am actually taking like a DHA to supplement my supplement kind of thing to make sure that I'm getting that because there isn't DHA in this. But I was taking the ritual ones and I found them to be miserable. They taste, well, first of all, they put this little thing in there, this little tablet in there to make them smell like lemon, which makes them just smell like Lysol. And then when you take them like throughout the rest of your day, because I don't know, a lot of the nutrients that are in there come from seaweed, you just burp nori all day. It's so nasty. They just make me feel terrible. I hate them. And that was my like second bottle of them and I just can't get through it. So. I say that, uh, you know, if you can get them <laughs> in a way that makes you happy, then do it. And uh, I put them up on my Instagram and I was like, please don't tell me these are bad for me for some reason. And everyone was like, girl, get your vitamins out. You can, okay, <laughs> figure it out. And I was like, okay, cool. And like everybody sent me pictures of their gummies and I was like, all right, I'm in the clear here. So anyway, you're supposed to take four over the course of the day. I take two with breakfast and then two with lunch. They taste so good. <laughs> they taste like uh, blackberry or just berry flavor, but like fruit leather. And I realized that like, I like them so much that it maybe crave fruit leather. So I bought some fruit leather on Amazon. <laughs> and it just arrived. I got 50 of them. <laughs> 50 fruit leathers, so. 
This will be some snacks for me later. I'm a little annoyed that they're all individually wrapped because they're basically for kids, you know? So um, they're supposed to go in like your kids' lunches and stuff like that. So that's why they're individually wrapped, but they'd also probably stick together pretty badly if they weren't. I know you can make fruit leather. I've been making everything in my life right now. I might do that at some point, but this was just where my brain was at at the moment. I actually just had the thought because we're about to run out of yogurt. We have like an entire gallon of whole milk and I have an ice cream maker. I'm pretty sure that can work as a yogurt maker. We might make our own yogurt, bam. Wouldn't that be fun? Because I still have some yogurt left, so I've got the cultures to start it. I don't know how much time it takes, but we should try it. Okay, so I did a little bit of research on the whole yogurt thing, and I, my memory did not serve on an ice cream maker also being able to make yogurt. It's like a frozen yogurt maker, but it's not a yogurt maker. Very different things. But turns out, guys, I found a recipe for Instant Pot yogurt because an Instant Pot can maintain a low temperature that it needs to incubate for very long periods of time, which is what needs to happen. And we have an Instant Pot, so I think that that is what I'm gonna try and do today. It does say that uh, for like the short term, basically, if you're kind of trying to build your own cultures and like keep building on them over time, you should, uh, like for the long term, you should like order or buy or whatever. I mean, order because we're stuck at home like a, a packet of the actual like live cultures uh but you know in a pinch you can use regular yogurt it just won't keep kind of building on itself it's not strong enough for that so i'm going to use what we have in the fridge to get this one started and i went ahead and ordered one online from a company called cultures for health that was just what the recipe recommended and my husband has also been bugging me to make him a gluten-free well <laughs> he doesn't care if it's gluten-free but uh sourdough starter so i ordered him one of those too so we're just gonna be very self-sufficient. <laughs> that is just uh, the name of the game right now. It's just, can you try not to go to the grocery store? Because I mean, yeah, going to the grocery store is one thing. My husband goes because I'm pregnant. He doesn't want me to go, uh, but uh, he stands in line for a really long time or I can try and get a grocery delivery. And today I tried to schedule one at the local, you know, central market. And they were like, sure, you can get them delivered on May 4th. It's April 28th. I was just like, I'm hungry, <laughs> like it's not gonna work. But you know, we've got plenty of food, but I just think this is gonna be a fun activity. Uh, kind of unplanned, I did not plan on doing this for this video, but thought this might be fun for you guys to watch me try and make yogurt in the Instant Pot, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so one of the things that the recipe says is that the yogurt will take on the flavor of the gasket if it's smelly and ours smells like soup. But I went ahead and boiled it. <laughs> in water with some um with some baking soda in it and it helped a lot so i'm gonna use that now and the first step is to boil the milk i'm gonna hit yogurt and then adjust so that it says boil after this you'll need to press start eventually it'll bring the milk to 180 degrees this kills off undesirable microorganisms there you go it usually takes about 30 minutes okay so I have the option of waiting like an hour for ugh, the uh, milk to cool, or I can put it in an ice bath and get it to cool down a little more quickly so we can get this show on the road, she says. As I know it's going to take at least eight hours. <laughs> okay, all right, I've got my candy thermometer pinned to the side, and we're trying to get it down to 116. And it is like at 190 right now. Oh, I need to whisk this while I... I'm just using a little sieve to get any of the like floating solids out of there if I can. There are quite a lot of them because it didn't form the film that it said that it was going to, but you can see that there are a lot of solids in there. So it is at 116. We're going to temp temper the culture. It's pretty boring, it just looks like milk. <laughs> There it was just like milk that it cooked on to the bottom a little bit. And I just didn't want that in my freaking yogurt, you know? I'm here too. Check the temp. It's actually fine. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
All right, so make sure the bottom of this is dry and put it in there. Incubate the yogurt. Set the insert back into the instant pot, lock the lid, press yogurt. Eight hours. Sounds good to me. And hit yogurt. No. No. All right. Eight hours on, on yogurt. I'm gonna guess that that is how you do it. So it is 11.24. I guess we'll check in on this in like four hours. That's what they say to do. Even though it says eight hours, they say to check on it in four. So I guess we'll look at like 3.30. Hello. What doing? What doing? M would like ice cubes. M will be passive aggressive until someone gives me ice cubes. Give me ice. Is anyone noticing me being annoying? Someone please notice me being annoying. Oh, so disenfranchised. Okay, it's 11.42, time for food. I know it seems like all I've been doing is preparing food, but none of that was to put in my mouth in any kind of short order, so. I have a lot of things in the fridge that I kind of have been making over the last couple of days and making a lot of them so that I have meals ready. <laughs> because let me tell you, when you prego and you hungry, there ain't really no time to think. So I did make, whoa, a whole bunch of brown rice, which takes like more than an hour to really do properly, but it's so worth it. I made some lentils. I don't know who I am. I hate lentils, but I want protein and I don't, I, I just wanted lentils. I don't, baby wants lentils. I freaking hate lentils, but we're eating lentils. <laughs> and then I'm gonna make a fresh batch of the sauce that I made the last time. Do you notice that I'm like having to swallow all the time? Even though I'm thirsty all the time, when you're pregnant, you make so much saliva. I constantly feel like I'm at risk of just like drooling everywhere. Okay, so we have tahini. We have sriracha. I'm gonna do balsamic vinegar, soy sauce, um, oh, maple syrup. Unfortunately, we're almost out, but that's okay. We have honey, we have other sweeteners. There's a half an avocado in there. I think, if there isn't, there are fresh avocados. There are fresh avocados. <laughs> uh, dun, 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 dun. My husband is awesome at grocery shopping. And then, I wonder if we have any frozen greens of some kind. I feel like this is happening. <laughs> I feel like even more than in regular life, like this is happening right now as I've been pregnant. So, oh, he knows me so well. He got me frozen green beans. We're gonna have frozen green beans. Well, they're not gonna be frozen when I eat them. So let's put this together. Okay, turns out green beans don't take any time <laughs> in the microwave. That was like a minute and a half, but I only did like 10 green beans. So now I'm going to nuke some rice. You don't ever want to nuke a whole bunch of rice at one time or like more than you're gonna eat because uh, if you reheat it more than once, it starts to make like this weird toxin that's like not good for you. So it'll give you like an upset stomach and stuff. Um, I just make sure that I do it once. Lentils. Lentils smell, anybody else? Like, they smell like meat. You know, this channel's not monetized anyway, so it doesn't matter if I say that, but. Okay, and finishing off my little sauce here. It's just a little bit of balsamic. This is organic balsamic. I think it's kind of started to ferment a little bit. It's got the little uh, mother strands in there. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so we are ready to assemble. I added a little bit more tahini to this to kind of thicken it up. It's almost like a peanut sauce. I'm gonna do my green beans here and set you guys down so I can do my avocado. A just less than perfect avocado, it's fine. I'm gonna do a little slice of lime. Going to go in with my sauce here. A 
Um, I can't emphasize this enough that up until about a week ago, this was not my reality, okay? First trimester, and I know that this is super duper common, I literally like nothing, nothing would sound good or not make me sick. Like, I didn't throw up, but that doesn't stop you from being incredibly miserable. Honestly, throwing up would be a relief, but um, except that then you'd have to eat again. Like, <laughs> when they say you're eating for two, it's not like it's fun. <laughs> because you're not enjoying any of it for the most part. It's just like you're sick all the time. Everything makes you really gassy and uncomfortable. And so that was my reality for like the first three months. But now I'm actually able to eat this kind of thing. Granted, all of these things digest at different speeds. <laughs> you know, the rice and the lentils are gonna digest a lot more slowly than the tomatoes. So yes, but uh, still it's worth it to get like nutrient rich food. All right, it's about 20 minutes to two. I have a meeting, a call <laughs> at two. And after that, I'm gonna do a yoga, okay? <laughs> I'm saying it out loud so that I'll believe it too, but I just got a case of the sleepies. So I am going to do the right thing and just go lounge. I don't nap really, I don't ever really nap, but uh, I'm gonna go in the bedroom and just chill for a few minutes, recline, and, uh, and hang out with the cats until my call. So grateful to work from home and have this kind of flexibility. I don't know what I would do right now if I were in an office. I'd probably still just go lie down. They would just have to understand. <laughs> He's never fully asleep. Look at him. <laughs> the salt packed ones are salty. Like you need to get that salt out of there. I'm just gonna do a quick rough chop on this. Ooh, those are so good. They're almost sweet. Wow. Ooh. Mm. Paper town. Okay, so I'm done with my call. It went really well. And it is 2.30 right now. I am going to put on some yoga clothes and I'm going to go do some yoga <laughs> before I check on my yogurt. Yoga and yogurt, <laughs> I didn't plan that. Um, also, I just happened to check on my Volu Spa order and it's coming today. Oh, I don't know where Purbox went, but Boos is still here, he's so cute. He says I sleep all day so I can raise hell all night. We even got him a, uh, a collar and uh, he hates it of course but we want people to know that he's owned and loved he's not your cat he's our cat I got myself a new little workout set from lululemon in a size 6 because size 4 was killing me <laughs> especially right around here I can make the aligned leggings work pretty much uh, at the 4 but I went ahead and got a 6 in both so that I can breathe because I've never been particularly small right around here. Like my rib cage is really big. And then I lost my waist. Like even my back is filled in now for like the breastfeeding and everything. So I feel like we're, we're ahead. <laughs> I don't feel like I should have like, that's the thing is I don't feel like I've gained a lot of weight necessarily, but I feel like this is just filled all in. Wow, you guys, I am watching this a week later and I am smaller now than I was then. Like, not that that really particularly matters. It's just the fact that I was dealing with so much constipation and gas. Like it made my body look crazy. I was so uncomfortable. All the medicine I was taking, everything didn't really make much of a difference. The thing that really made a difference that I ended up doing last Friday out of just pure desperation was going for a run. It was really like a run walk. <laughs> like I'd run for three minutes, walk for three minutes, and I just did my three mile loop that way. And it made me so sore. <laughs> it made me take like a three hour nap uh, the next day. But it was like the first time that my system has moved in weeks and I just like looking at this now I'm just like holy moly I was in a bad way oh my gosh I was miserable so yeah was it Friday that I ran I think it was Saturday that I ran yeah because Friday I had like a nervous breakdown <laughs> 
because I was so constipated. Pregnancy rules. And it was the smallest part of my body and it just looks really different. <laughs> it just looks really, really crazy. And I'm only three months. Uh. <sighs> All right, let's do some yoga. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> I did it. Uh, I did prenatal yoga using Down Dog's new prenatal yoga app. And you can uh, tell it what trimester that you're in and your skill level and everything and everything is adapted. I, I liked it a lot and it was harder than I thought it was gonna be. It started out and they were doing all these like knees down low lunge. They were doing a bunch of like knees down low lunges and I was like, is this gonna be how it is the whole time? Am I ever gonna get up into like a, a real warrior or like a real like down dog even, you know? And um, they just take longer to kind of warm up to it. And there are no, uh, that I could tell, not in that practice, any um, chaturangas. There are no, like, cause you're not supposed to use your abs. That's the main thing. So there's a lot of glute stuff and there was arm stuff and there's a lot of really good stretching, like a lot of really good stretching. Um, but I mean, you're just so short of breath. <laughs> the, the whole time I was just, you know, getting a pretty darn good workout from it, um, even though it's super gentle. And um, the last time that I, last few times that I've done yoga, I didn't do prenatal yoga. I just used the regular Down Dog app uh, until I found out that they had put out a prenatal one pretty recently. And <laughs> just, oh my gosh, no wonder I was so tired using the regular one. It was just, it's so, it's so much more intense. And so this was like, I mean, still, I, I think it's mostly intense for me right now just because I haven't done it in so long. And so just even a forward fold, um, my hamstrings are just like, Ah, you know? So, uh, yeah, it felt really good. It felt really good. And now it is 3.30 on the nose. On the nose. And we're gonna go check on the yogurt. And then I'm gonna take a shower. Tastes like Instant Pot, not gonna lie. Not the best flavor, uh, but I think that it's definitely going to take a lot more time. Yeah. You're not supposed to jostle it too much, but I just kind of wanted to see if it had like gelled at all. Not really. So uh, we'll see. I'll let it run as long as it needs to, you know, um, probably at least eight hours. I need a shower. And honestly, I could have just napped in Shavasana. <laughs> They're like, roll over on your left side for Shavasana. And I was like, night, night. <laughs> yeah, I could nap. Hey guys, okay, I'm out of the shower. I put on a t-shirt because I can't stop picking my KP, so I'm just gonna put a barrier there so I can't get to it. And I am extremely tired, <laughs> like sleepy tired, and also very hungry. So this is where the day gets weird. And this is where I'm like, oh, I'm, about, I'm about to put my body, who knows, who knows? We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Let's see what's in this fridge. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's always the toast option. It doesn't last very long. Eggs make me pretty sick. Um, Mike did get some good cheese. We've got bacon, some sour cream. Hi, Sweebie, you wanna be tied? Wow. And, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll make a smoothie. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Is, do you really think that about him? Damn, kids out there be screaming. kind of smells like trash. It's me, sorry. Put sriracha in it? Yeah, went crazy. A little bit of nut butter. It seemed butter days. <laughs> It's strawberry, banana, kiwi, mango, and then nut butter and honey. It's pretty darn good. I'm gonna take this outside, try not to drop it. I don't know if you guys saw that on my Instagram a couple weeks ago. I made a beautiful smoothie and I posted about it and I was like, oh, it's so good. And like five seconds later I dropped it. 
and I broke the cup everywhere and lost my beautiful smoothie. So I'm gonna try not to do that today, but uh, I'm going to freeze my ducks off as soon as I start drinking this. Also, <laughs> little detail, it's been haunting me lately. Uh, I was in an accident in 2008. I was hit by a car when I was riding my bike and uh, I have nerve damage um, on my right leg, on my right thigh. Uh, now, I guess I woke it up with, uh, with yoga, but now I'll just be standing and my leg goes to sleep. The whole thing, it feels like it's covered in icy hot. It's fantastic, so a lot of reasons I need to go sit down. I'm wearing a lot of sunscreen right now. I'm gonna put my hat on and I'm gonna sit outside. Ah, my leg. <sighs> Look what I found. He's the most beautiful potato ever. It me. Hi, sweetheart. Just living all of our best life. You wish you were him right now. I wish I was him right now. Y'all, I think I made yogurt. It has, it has set up. Look at that. Wow. It tastes a little weird. It's kind of tangy. Um, you're not supposed to jostle it too much. So I'm not gonna like fluff it or anything, but I think you're supposed to take it out and let it cool for a while, like a couple of hours or something. For the record, that took six hours and 20 minutes. All right, here she is. She is beautiful. She tastes a little strange. <laughs> But not bad for a first try. Especially when earlier today we had no yogurt and now we have yogurt. I mean, you know, that was what we set out to do. So I am going to cover this so that like a bunch of dog hair doesn't get in it. Or cat hair or my hair. Literally cat hair and dog hair on, on the camera. Uh, and I'm supposed to rest it for two hours. So it's 5.48, 7.48. We will stick her in the, in the fridge. And we'll have yogurt. Can you tell I'm exhausted? And I have heartburn. I need to eat a lot of times. So dinner is usually the hardest <laughs> to like figure out what the heck I'm gonna have. And uh, I think tonight it's just gonna be something simple. My husband made a whole, I hope I'm not blocking my, camera, my mic when I do this. Um, he made a whole chicken. So we have a lot of chicken. And so I think I'll make some chicken and rice, even though, I'll be honest, meat does not sound good to me, but still, you know, that's food I need to eat. There you go. So chicken, rice, something green, probably more green beans, something like that. We'll see. But for now, mmm, my favorite snack. I hate them so much. They're so gross. Give it Outstanding. Shot. Do not! Okay, I have decided what I'm having for dinner and it's maybe possibly relatable slash underwhelming. So, you know, go the whole day eating things that are, you know, trying to be as healthy as possible. For dinner, we're having quesadillas. <laughs> so it's still me at the end of the day. So I did make my own corn tortillas a couple of days ago because it's me. And uh, I've got some frozen uh, what are these? Trader Joe's red, yellow, and green bell pepper strips. So I'm gonna cook those up. Mike got me some organic shredded cheese blend because he's a blessing. And uh, I've got a little bit of salsa left over here and I found a few, uh, actually quite a few, of these Dos Hermanos hot nacho sliced jalapenos. And uh, I'm about to just get down on this and cut up an avocado and just go full quesadilla on them. Let's do it. Look who's watching me. Hi, sweetie. Hi, you think I'm gonna give you something? You wrong. I love you, Doe. <laughs> oh yeah, you can have a treat for that. Everything is from Trader Joe's. There we go. Oh yeah, good job. I don't know how to make quesadillas. I'm just figuring it out. 
That looks pretty good so far. I and mean, then I guess I'm just gonna fold them over. I don't know. Yeah, it turns out they're just gonna be like little case of pizzas, I guess. They're gonna be del delicious though. So, I'm gonna turn that off. So, I guess they ended up like little Mexican pizzas, but they look pretty good. That'll do. Look guys, it's my beautiful yogurt. I'm going to put it in the fridge. Oh, I've looked better. <laughs> oh, I've been uh, lying upstairs just trying to uh, find a position that relieves the horrible gas that I have right now. It just kind of progresses over the course of the day. Every single day I just Feel okay in the morning, lunch is fine, and then it's just like that snack, and then dinner, oh, it's for whatever reason. I just get horrible, horrible gas, so. <sighs> That's the rest of my evening. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna refrigerate this now, and it'll be good to go in the morning to put in a container on its own and stuff. So, yeah, that's my, that's my yogurt, and I guess, at the risk of ending this vlog looking like a total maniac, uh, I think that's the end of the vlog. It is 8.26. I might have a snack later, but lately I haven't been doing the like 10.30 p.m. snack. Like that was, I used to have to do that like first trimester. It was just, I mean literally, it was like super frustrating. I'd get done brushing my teeth and I'd still need to eat something again. So I don't think I'm gonna have to do that. Um, so things are getting a little bit more normal, <laughs> a little bit. But I appreciate everybody really commiserating with me and like the DMs on my Instagram and stuff. Everybody's like, yeah, it sucks. It totally, totally sucks. And I'm just like, thank you. Cause uh, yeah, I, I don't feel like a goddess and I'm not thriving. So anyway, we made yogurt together today, guys. Thank you for your help. <laughs> and uh, I hope that you enjoyed seeing a typical day in what I'm eating in my very beginning of my second trimester of, uh, of pregnancy. And that will be the vlog. Thank you guys for watching and uh, you know if it's your first time here think about subscribing and uh, give, it a, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, I, thanks. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Good morning guys. It's the next day. I wasn't gonna leave you hanging on the yogurt unless it like didn't turn out well but it's perfect. Look at it. I mean, that's it in a bowl. I had a terrible habit in this video of covering my microphone when I was saying something important about food, but what I was gonna say is I'm putting the recipe down below for this because it worked great. But yeah, what you guys didn't see last night, just full, full transparency, was uh, me breaking down, crying by the end of the night because I was so gassy and constipated. And um, I woke up at 3.30 in the morning and, uh, and I was still really gassy and constipated and I was just really mad. I was just really mad about it and I realized that it wasn't just gas, it was also constipation. Like, just chronic, terrible, can't poop. And so, yeah, I uh, consulted my doctor's notes at 3.30 in the morning <laughs> by phone light and um, ordered a uh, stool softener on Amazon. So, that is the reality of pregnancy, fam. <laughs> but that's the real end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it.